Hello, North High Class of 2020. This is Mr. Spiegel, and I have the pleasure of walking you through your virtual graduation rehearsal for graduation on August 1st. We are incredibly excited to celebrate with you this weekend, but there's some very important things that we need to talk about as we move to get ready for graduation on Saturday. This video will walk you through those components. In this video, we will be covering the following. Arrival and entering the family arena for graduation. The graduation agenda. The graduation dress code. What is not allowed at graduation? The actual graduation ceremony. The end of the ceremony. And finally, what to do after the ceremony. But before we get into all that, I just wanted to take a second and say congratulations to everyone in the North High class of 2020. Everyone at North High is so incredibly proud of you and all that you have accomplished in your 13 years of education. Obviously, this is not a typical graduation ceremony, but it will be an amazing experience and we are incredibly excited to get together safely with everyone on Saturday. As you probably already know, graduation will be held at the Family Arena located at 2002 Arena Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. Graduation will take place this Saturday, August 1st, 2020, and will begin at 4.30 p.m. To the right, you have a map of the best way to get to the Family Arena from North High. To the left, there is a QR code. When scanned, that will take you to a Google map with directions to the Family Arena. If you do not know how to use a QR code, open up your phone to the Photos app and it should scan the code for you. All graduates should arrive one hour early, so no later than 3.30 p.m. on Saturday. Please feel free to park in the Family Arena lot anywhere you would like. Please make sure that you are wearing your cap and gown as you are walking into the arena as that is your admissions ticket to seating. Please make sure that all bags and purses are left inside your vehicles. No bags will be admitted to the Family Arena. Graduates, please enter in gate 1 or 2 on the south side entrance of the Family Arena. All students on the floor will also have to wear a mask, so please make sure to bring one. You should be aware that when you enter the Family Arena, you will have your temperature checked as well as walk through a metal detector. Once through and in the Family Arena, there will be bathrooms available before heading to your seat on the floor. Please make sure to use the restroom right after you enter or before arriving at the Family Arena. Please head directly to your seat. All seats on the floor will be labeled with an index card with your name on it. Names will start in the front right seat and move from right to left and backwards to the behind row. Once you find your seat, please make sure to stay in your seat. All seats are properly social distanced for your safety, and it is very important that you stay in your chair. Again, all students must have a mask on when they are seated on the floor of the family arena. You will be able to take off your mask for a photo opportunity with Mr. Sutton as you walk across the stage for your diploma. On this slide, you will find the agenda for graduation. Please take a second to familiarize yourself with the agenda for graduation. There will not be a formal processional this year, but Mr. Sutton will recognize all the graduates at the start of the ceremony and have the class of 2020 stand in their seats. Let's talk graduation dress code. First of all, this is a formal event, so please dress nicely. Second, if you haven't yet hung up your gown, please do as soon as possible to get the wrinkles and creases out for graduation day. Gentlemen, the standard attire for a graduation is a dress shirt, dress pants, and a tie. Ladies should wear a dress, skirt, or slacks, with a nice blouse or shirt. Shoes are also important as they will be the most visible part of your attire. Please wear nice shoes. You may wear any awards, medals, or cords that you earned at North over your gown. Now we need to talk about some things that are not permitted at graduation. Number one, you cannot decorate your cap, but you can put your name on the inside of your cap. This will become more important later. Number two, please, no sandals, sunglasses, shorts, jeans. Remember, this is a formal affair. Number three, Please keep all the noisemakers at home. No air horns, paddles, beach balls, things like that. Finally, number four, do not bring your empty face to the family arena. Please, please, please wear a mask. Here we go. It's time for the actual ceremony. Mr. Spiegel and Mr. Oliarnik will release each row starting from the front. Graduates will exit the row towards the right and head up to the stage and stairs. Please remember to maintain your social distancing as you are waiting for your name to be called. Mr. Fletcher will be at the top of the stairs on the right and check to make sure that you are listening for your name. In a change of tradition, we will be reading all graduates' names this year, so it is very, very important that you listen for yours. Once your name has been called, you will start walking across the stage from right to left. Please remember to enjoy this moment. You will see a member from the Board of Education slide a diploma cover across the table. Please make sure to grab that. Your next step will be to remove your mask so you can have a photo opportunity with Mr. Sutton. After the photo opportunity with Mr. Sutton, graduates will walk down the stairs to the left and head back to Mr. Oliarnik for their row. Graduates will then have a seat. All right, 
We all walked across the stage, so what's next? Mr. Sutton will present the class of 2020, where you move your tassel and ask you if you want to throw your caps. Once all the caps are thrown, we will have the recessional and excuse you from the family arena. We will be dismissing from the family arena from back to front. So those students with Z for the last names, we're going to start with you. Mr. Spiegel and Mr. Oliarnik will then stand at your rows and allow you to head out of the family arena. Again, we will be going towards the right. If you were a member of National Honor Society, please see Ms. Hanner and give her your NHS stole prior to leaving the family arena. After graduation and after your exit, please do not congregate with your classmates, but head directly to your vehicles. We in the family arena are working hard to limit contact and keep everyone as safe as possible. As a final note, graduation is an incredibly exciting event, but it is important to remember that this is a formal affair. Everything that we are doing is to keep you safe, and everything about this day is to recognize all of your accomplishments as the class of 2020. Today is for you, but it's also bigger than you. Today is about your family, your parents, and your loved ones, and all the time and energy that they have dedicated and helped getting you across this stage. Please remember that as we move forward with the ceremony. For those who cannot join us, we will be live streaming the ceremony online in a couple of different locations. At the end of the day, I want you to remember that you are Panthers through and through. You all have a unique bond that few others can say. You are the graduating class from North High of 2020. On this slide, you'll find the links and information to the live streams of graduation on both YouTube and the Family Arena's website. Please feel free to use either the URL codes or the QR codes to access the streams. North High Class of 2020, we are so proud of you. Graduation is going to be awesome. But if you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. On this page, you'll find my information as well as Ms. Hanner's information. We can't wait to see each and every one of you on Saturday at 3.30 at the Family Arena to finally graduate. For all those Panthers out there, stay safe.